you know, sometimes I feel like, you know, cutting hair is a skill. You know, anybody can pick up a pair of clippers and just say, yeah, I cut this blase, blase. You know, everybody can't cut. You know, I always refer back to the army commercial where, you know, it says many are called, few are chosen. Well, I believe that anybody can cut hair. You know, many people can cut hair. Only very few people can actually cut. It was a time where, you know, I was afraid to talk to customers. You know, I like I like meeting new people, but you know, I was just worried about cutting hair. You know, what I'm saying because I really didn't know how to cut hair at all, so I was afraid to mess up on them. So I really didn't talk to them. Yeah, you've been cutting me since I was in what 11th grade. Yeah, yeah, I stuck with you, man. First barber when, when I first moved to Texas, you was the first barber I had for real, for real. For real? Yeah. I ain't even know that. Yeah, I used to go to some other guy, but he went all that. I want your first barber. I was yeah. the first good ball. First good ball. I give you that. Man. Yeah, I give you that. I think about those days where I wasn't cutting for six hours on a Saturday. You know what I'm saying? I was. I think about those days where I prayed. I asked God for this. I've tried my best to focus as hard as I could on the cut and not worry about them, but. As time progressed and I got better, you know, I got a little bit more comfortable. I started talking more while I'm cutting, you know, so it feels good to make the customer feel comfortable while you're cutting. And you can also hold a conversation and still concentrate on the haircut at the same time. Keep grinding, man. Don't forget about your boy. Oh, no, I ain't gonna forget yeah. about you. Be a teacher, don't forget about the boy. I'm gonna need some flies. You make sure you put them on your student's desk. You know what I'm saying? That's real talk. I got you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna hook you up. Every student, every 10 students, you get one free cut. And also, it makes the customer feel comfortable and want make them want to come back. You know, a lot of customers really don't come back because you cut good. Everybody was joking on me at school, talking about I look like kid in play. Okay, you do. Nah, man. I know. Nah, bro. <laughs> Like Ricky, man. You, bro, you like five characters, bro. You like Ricky. Mike off the wood. Mike, big Mike off the wood. Uh, big Mike. Ronnie, Bobby, Ricky, 
<laughs> I done heard uh, what, what, Booby Miles on Friday Night Lights. Booby Miles, I need that one. Uh, the dude Gerald off of Hey Arnold. You remember Gerald? that? He's too black, man. That's too black, man. Too sorry, bro. Nah, man. Ooh, A-Wax, A-Wax. <laughs> <laughs> Who is that? Oh, uh, uh, Society, bro. Ah, uh, oh, you talking about, uh... Hey, yo, wife, let me get something to You talking about, you talking about Clifton Powell? <laughs> yeah. What's that? What's that? What's that? What's that? What's Give me some licks with them grits. I said, yeah, I, I told you I'd be coming around here until about 2.30. 10.30. I don't get out the bed until 10.30. Well, man, let me take it out. Let me take it out. A lot of customers come back because your conversation piece. You know, if you have a good conversation piece, you know, I ain't, I ain't gonna lie and say your haircut got it gonna be jacked up and they still gonna come back. Now you gotta have some type of skill, but if they feel comfortable with you, they're gonna continue to spend money with you. If you make somebody comfortable, they're gonna keep coming back. I cut good and you know it takes a skill, it takes passion.
it takes a skill, it takes passion, and you have to work hard at it. And if you're not going to work hard at it, don't even do it.